What this is, is whale earwax. Whales used to be land mammals. That's where the whale's ear used to be. When the ear disappeared, evolution didn't really bother with the rest. So the whales keep producing earwax. It just kind of gets pushed up the tube like toothpaste. It's like tree rings. It's carrying all the evidence from all the years of its life. Anything that was in its body, any hormones that were in its body, they're all there stored in order in this toothpaste. Scientists at the Natural History Museum, along with the American Museum of Natural History, worked out. Because they have records of when every whale they collected died, they can line up the whale earwax plugs going back 150 years. So they looked at one particular thing, cortisol, the stress hormone. This black line here is this kind of wiggly line. This is how whales' stress went up and down. What we have here in the blue is the number of whales that were caught, commercial whaling. And you can see that when more whales are caught, the stress goes up here, huge peak in whaling, huge peak in whale stress. And when the whaling goes down, the whale stress goes down.